All right, everyone, welcome back to some Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, Johan here, and well, it's been a while since I've done a Heroes video, uh, gameplay video at least. But here we have the Herid Abyssal Battle, which I was finally able to do. I haven't had much time to actually plan out these Abyssal Battles much, but well, I was able to get this one in not too long. So I'm using my Makaya here. Uh, Swordbreaker doesn't actually matter to actually I guess it matters once but uh, I have it here she has close counter and double ploy attack and res ploy um, with Aether we have Fa with her standard kit uh, I replaced distant defense panic ploy with drive attack which is needed uh, in general infantry pulse to help charge Micaiah's Aether and I have oops I have Mia, uh, she is the same as always. I replaced Drive Attack with Drive Defense. And I have the Attack plus 3 seal, which I think comes into play once. Like, it didn't take me that long, so a lot of this ran these random seals, I don't even know. If okay, well, the I have Flying Olivia here, and the Drive Speed seal actually does matter, along with Chill Speed. So, and Guidance too, actually. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with, so here we go. So let me turn on animations real quick. Now I had to experiment with this first turn a lot because basically in order to kill Herid with Micaiah turn one, I had to have this staff user attack me. Um, oops, it should be like this. The drive attack here lets me run around KO the accent. Um, so yeah, I had to have this staff unit attack my Micaiah first so that she could charge her Aether by the time Herid attacked her. Now sometimes Herid, attack Herid, Herid would attack her first, which would not work for Aether. So I think having the drive speed uh, by Micaiah is what lets her, is what causes the staff, use, staff unit to attack first. Also you may have noticed I didn't dance Micaiah, and that's obviously because she gets panicked. So I don't want to get the buffs right now. So yeah, now my Aether will be charged. I just lived this attack. And I heal it all back up. Very nice. Okay, so next I'm going to have Fa move down here first. Because I need Olivia to be right here and Fa to be where Olivia is standing. So I need them to basically swap places. And Fa having bust will allow her to kill this guy right here. And this is where Swordbreaker is kind of useful. I can double this guy. And Guidance, of course. Uh, unfortunately, Mia only brings this guy down to 1 HP, but it doesn't really matter much. What matters is that I get the Aether charge step when the Green Mage attacks me. Yeah, so now I have exactly enough for the uh, for me to use Aether and fully heal. This gravity is kind of whatever. So here, exactly here, here I exactly kill this guy. Just enough attack. One less attack, I wouldn't have killed him. All right, so thanks to the sword, met, the sword dude, I can Aether this guy in the face. Fully heal. Well, just about fully heal. Okay, this is where drive speed is also coming handy. So here I'm going to go ahead and Aether this guy's face in. And with Olivia's dance buffs and drive speed, I can double this guy for the kill. As for this guy, I'm just going to take him out with Mia. It's important that Mia is moving up here. It's very important. And I'll just have Makai chill. Now here, the ninja. We'll get buffed, but it won't matter. Like, these ninjas are super annoying if you don't have an adaptive damage user. Or like, I don't know. Hyper offensive. Brave, brave weapon user. Okay, so now that Mia is here, 
she can come up one space safely to bait out, bait out this guy. Now next, I'm going to have Micaiah attack this guy once. Now this attack is really important because it allows me to just kill this guy. Oh, hello battery. To just kill this guy on enemy face. So I do this. And I'm gonna dance fate, follow up, fate, and just end turn right here. This guy coming this way, or this girl I should say, is very important. Now I'm in wrath range, so she'll have wrath charged up for this turn. And now here, I'll be able to perfectly kill this guy. Well, just barely perfectly kill this guy. I think it's two damage over. Okay. And then this cavalier comes in and I do a decent chunk to him. Alright, now I have Wrath charged up, so I'll finish this guy off. Or Wrath, Aether Wrath. <laughs> Thanks to Wrath, I have Aether charged up. I'll take this guy out. And I'm going to have Micaiah take out this Cavalier. And once again, thanks to Drive Speed, I'll be able to dance far up and get the speed buffs and double this guy for the kill. Actually, Drive Speed doesn't matter here. <laughs> I do, I have enough speed anyway. Alright. And finally, thankfully this guy doesn't have DC bolt uh, nonsense, but Micaiah easily one rounds him with the super aether bomb boom that's a lot of damage and there you have it that was here it's abyssal battle so uh thanks for watching guys and if you guys uh were able to finish this as well let me know how you did it um in the comments below i don't know if i have too much time to solve uh the next the other two but if i if it comes down to it uh if it's not too difficult to figure out, I'll have it out for you eventually. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want more of this content, please subscribe. Alright, thanks and peace out.